League Baseball is live and on the air on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Harrisburg Senators and the New Hampshire Fisher Cats. It's baseball. It's the show, and it comes your way next. And now in the box, Jordy Barley. He will lead this one off today. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Our temperature at first pitch and even 70 degrees here this afternoon. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. Breaking ball well inside and taken for ball three. 3 2 pitch. Really good at bat here from the leadoff hitter as he'll force him to throw another one. The 3 2 one more time. Fastball swung on and missed, and the leadoff man is gone on strikes to start the afternoon. So here is Israel Pineda. Israel Pineda. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. Digging in next, Ali Castillo. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. The 1-1 one -one home is a fastball whiffed on for a strike. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. He's certainly pushing the throttle and pulling it with those four pitches. Statistics class tells me I'm sitting fast. He's set, and the 2-2 pitch. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count, you send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Takes this the other way to right, and that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. And that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. That is cool. The first baseman. He is standing in now. Ian Sagdo. Nope, at the ball. And there's ball two now. Count is two and one. And he fouls this one off. That's taken high for a ball. It's full now. Three and two. Nick Banks is on deck. And it's fouled away. The next three, two. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Now with the plate is Nick Banks. A 2 1 pitch. Aye. Favorable call in there for a strike. Three. And strike three called as he says, You got to be kidding me with the side retired. Now into the box, Riquelvin De Castro. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Fly ball right down the line and left. Banks is over toward the line a bit as he takes it for the first out. And stepping in, Orelvis Martinez. This one's down to third. He's got it. Throw gets him. Two down. So next to hit is Nash Knight looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. 1-1. Waves and misses for strike number two. Wow, great pitch right there, right? Changing speeds. How about that straight changeup? Oh, it takes a nasty hop, and he's unable to haul it in. That is cool. The right fielder. Into the box now, Will Robertson. Robertson. Ah, he gets him to wave at that one. It's two and two. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Center fielder giving chase. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning.
now it'll be Alec Keller. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Next, it'll be Jackson Clough. Now the 2-1 pitch is taken for strike two. No score here as we play inning number two. Bouncer up the middle. Fielded cleanly. And that's the second out. Next to hit is Daniel Marte. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. Now to bat, Cole Freeman. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Little chopper back to the mound. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. half of the second set to go and standing in the outfielder Desan Brown hit out towards second scooped up and he will whip this one over to first in time for the out stepping up is Rodrigo Vigil Rodrigo Vigil Swing and a miss for out number two, and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. Into the box, number 30. This will be his first trip to the plate in this one. And this one misses inside a ball he walked in, and they've got themselves a two out base runner. Digging in, switch hitter, Esteban Machado. Man at first after the two out walk. Throw over to the bag. One one home it is a fastball in off the plate for a ball. Bottom of the second here with no score. To short, he's got it. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. New inning set to get underway. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Jordy Barley. Hard hit ball to second. Reined in. Throw to first in time. And the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Next here is Israel Pineda. Worked a walk his first time up. Third inning, no score to this point. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Hit on the ground to third. In time to first and there are two away. Next to dig in, Ali Castillo. He singled first time up. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. The count now at two and two. Swing and a liner. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Now back. The first base. In now, Ian Sagdahl. In for strike two. Castillo is off of first with two away. Popped him up. Knight has room in foul territory. And the inning is over. And now here is Forrest Wall. A 1 1. On the ground to the right side. This will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Now batting, shortstop, Rick Helvey. 
At the plate now, Riquelvin De Castro. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. The third baseman. Stepping in Orelvis. once again is Orelvis Martinez. He bounced out last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll to. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And not really much of a chance to recover there as he'll reach first on what undoubtedly will be scored as an infield single. To the plate now, Nash Knight lays off the changeup and he's ahead in the count now, three and one. Three and one here, you have to make a good pitch on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it. Working for the punch out and the offering. Drilled right back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Long throw to the plate. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. Now back. The right fielder. Stepping in now, Will Robertson. Grounded back up the middle. One there. Relay to first in time, and just like that, the side is retired. All set for the start of the fourth, and next it'll be the outfielder, Nick Banks. Now the one and one pitch. He swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Well, that's a jam shot right there. That's as good as it gets, in my opinion. Woo! Up and in. Fouled away. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. So he couldn't get the bat off the shoulders that time. Nick Banks goes down to become the first out here in the fourth. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Brown is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Up next, Jackson Clough grounded out in his last at bat. Jackson Clough. Fastball called strike. One and two. Hey, I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well-executed fastball down and away, and that's exactly what that is. He swings at that. That's off the end of the bat. That's not hard contact at all, and that's an easy out for the defense. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Fouled off. And he'll find a way to get a piece of that one to stay alive. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some Ball tough four. pitches. Two two count, and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. The center fielder, number Digging in will be Daniel Marte, and we'll see if they can make him pay for the two out walk. Always considered a big no no, of course. Taken off the outside as the breaking ball couldn't catch the corner. Man, this at bat has changed quickly from 0-2 now to 2-2. A good job of plate discipline by this hitter, not chasing those pitches just off the plate. The relay. But he'll be in there with a double. The batter number 50, second baseman, Cole Freeman. Into the box, Cole Freeman. Checks his swing oh, here, counts. but he does so in time. And he oh, can't catch counts. the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. Strikes, so they get two men at a scoring position, but that's as far as they'll get as the side is retired. Bottom of the inning now, and next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Desan Brown. No contact there, and it's one and two. 
Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. And he fouls this one off. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Now batting, catcher, Rodrigo. So now to the plate, Rodrigo Vigio. And this one's in the dirt. And he is in there. They couldn't get him at second. And costly as the runner will move into scoring position now. All even now, two and two. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. No one out with a runner at second. Fly ball out toward left center field. Left fielder is on the move. He makes the catch, and the runner from second will tag and head for third. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Now that is. So now number here 30. is number 30. Worked a walk in his first plate appearance. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Swing and a line drive. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. He'll get it into second. And he is out, trying for two bases, but credit him with a single and an RBI here. The batter, number six. At the plate, Esteban Machado. And he'll lay off a fastball up in the zone here, and that brings it to two and one now. Three and one. One thing that could nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his Aye. offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. 3 2 pitch. Now a ball lined hard toward deep right field. And what an effort on the running play to end the inning. Taylor Saucedo, a six foot five inch left hander, takes over on the mound now. Number 54. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Jordy Barley. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Ready to deal, here's the 1 1. This is line to left, and a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. Now back. Israel. Standing in now, Israel Pineda. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Now back. Ready first now base. is Ali Castillo, Ali. singled last Ali. time up. The 2 2. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Now at the plate, here is Ian Sagdahl. He's 2 with a strikeout in this one. Just hung in there on that one. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he tops out a wall. Striding in is Nick Banks. A base knock to the outfield could score the tying run from second. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. So he gets him swinging on a pitcher's pitch. Nick Banks becomes the second out here in inning number five. The set and the 1-1. One -one. Helping him out here as he swings and misses to fall behind a ball and two strikes. Hey, this is a huge pitch right here. It would be demoralizing to watch this inning slip away. Even count, two balls and two strikes. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any... Dive, but it's off his glove, and that ought to get at least one run in. 
Notch one in the score column as the runner from third crosses the plate. It's now a two to one ball game. In now, Jackson Club. And oh, he's really given some leeway on the outside edge here. Two and two now. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Reed Schaller, a right-handed reliever, standing 6-3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. And now, Forrest Wall singled in his last at-bat. The 2-1. Swing and a liner, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Now Next to hit, Riquelvin De Castro. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. A 1 1 home. That's ball two. Fifth inning, two to one our score. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And there's out number two. Now with the plate, Oreldis Martinez, a hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. The one one home. Is swung on and missed for strike Down number two. One and two. Yeah, guys, he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball, you could tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch. Throw to first oh. with time to spare, and the side is retired. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Daniel Marte. Shot to third and handled for first out. The Next to stand in is Cole Second Freeman. Team. He went down on strikes Cole. last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. A ball and two strikes now. Now here's a comebacker back to the mound. And he'll just oh. flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Jordy Barley. He scored after knocking a single in his last at-bat. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and here comes the first baseman, Nash Knight. Here now the 2-2. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Will Robertson. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two-ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least. So you know he wants to make up for it right here. And there are two away now. Next up, Desan Brown. One for two on his line so far in the game. Low scoring game thus far. Two to one here in the sixth. He loses him on ball four. So now to the plate, Rodrigo Vigia, man at first after the two out walk. The one one is in there for the second strike. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. Ready to deliver the one and two. Lifted into the air out towards center field. He's under it, and that ends the inning.
Jacob Wagyu's pack is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 62. Jacob. Seventh inning ready to roll. And next to hit is the catcher, Israel Pineda. No, you're only down one right here, but the exploding stuff that's coming out of the back end of a lot of teams' down, bullpens. Three, I mean, just north of 95 plus stuff diving all over the plate. It's gotten a lot tougher to scratch across runs against these teams' bullpens. I know that fastball registered at about 92, 93, but I guarantee you it looked about four to five miles an hour faster than that for this offensive player. After coming off a curveball, the old push the throttle and pull it is being used. Pulled high in the air out to left field. And the seventh inning starts with a fly out here, one away. Next up is Ali Castillo. Last time up, he was hit by a pitch. We're in the seventh inning now. The pitcher's duel, two to one, our score. Now a swing and a fly ball. Right fielder is on the run. He makes the running play. Two down. So here's the cleanup hitter, Ian Sagdahl. Over two with a walk for him so far. And it's one and two. Two straight. Two out, nobody on. High in the air out to center field. Brown able to track it down for the third out. For the traditional seventh inning stretch. So now into the box is number 30. He was thrown out at second trying to stretch a base hit into a double in his last at bat. Yeah, fellas, not sure if he got the go ahead from his base coach or not. Can't believe he did. But it looked like he was running in mud right there. He'll try it again, three and two. Hit hard down the line. And this gets past him at third as it hugs the line. A fair ball. And now it'll kick around in the corner. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Now back, second baseman, Esteban. Machado. To the plate now, Esteban Machado. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Working for the punch out and the offering. Sent on the ground out to second. And that's the first out. Next, it'll be Forrest Wall. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. And he can't allow the same thing to happen in this situation. This is a big time spot in this game. He's got to find a way to put the ball in play. Count is one and two now. Has a look. Now the pitch. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed. And for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. So the next to bat will be Riquelvin De Castro. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Danny Jimenez has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 50. So stepping in is Nick Banks. Three at bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. Yes, you ball. And he'll come one back strike. with one in the dirt as the count moves to 2-1 and one now. Eight. Called strike two as he locks him up there. Two balls, two strikes. Two high, three ball eight. three. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 two, two pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Another payoff pitch. Hit sharply on the ground. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Now, now to the plate, Alec Keller. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. All even at two and two. Here it is. Lifted the other way out to left center. 
long run for the left fielder. And he can't get to it as it bounces over the wall for a ground rule double. And the tying run will be in scoring position. At Blake now, Jackson Clough, one and two now. This is two okay. and two. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Stepping in next, Daniel Marte trying here to plate the tying run from second. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Wall is there to make the catch, and they'll get out of this with the lead intact. of inning number eight set to go and set to go is the third baseman Orelvis Martinez now here's the pitch out in front here is this one scorched foul to the left one and two here it comes I got to count two and two There's a base hit on the line. The batter, the first baseman. Into the box, yeah. Nash Knight. Swing and a ground ball to third. To second for one. On to first, and they turn the double play. So next to bat will be Will Robertson. He grounded out last time up. Robertson. Now the one and one pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. A ball that's carrying. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. Travis Bergen comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Number 64. All set to start the ninth in this one. And set to go is the second baseman, Cole Freeman. Now the three and two pick. Lifted down the line in left. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Payoff pitch on its way to second. And that is in the right field. So the leadoff man's aboard here to kick off the ninth. Now back. Jordy forward. So now to the plate, Jordy Barley. Count even at two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. That's popped up, now towards short right field. Machado will stay with it as he backs up and puts it away, one gone. Now to the plate, here is Israel Pineda. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that time run. Fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. And now in the box, Ali Castillo. He flew out in his last A.B. The 3-1. And this is swung on and missed. So with that, they find themselves down to their final strike here this afternoon. Continue as that's through for a two out hit. And the throw will come in quickly from center, so despite the hit and run, they won't get the extra base here. At the plate, Ian Sagdahl grounded to third. 
Throw to first is in time. They got him, and the ball game is over. Hey, which is normally the case in these close ones. You have a one-run game, a 2-1 decision. Really good pitching and defense in this one, and a lot of really good execution made this a fun game to watch. Pitching and defense game, 2-1 to one, the final score this afternoon. New Hampshire led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Taylor Saucedo pitches well enough to get the W. Jackson Rutledge was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. The final line score for our ball game. For the victorious Fisher Cats, two runs on eight hits, no errors. They left six men on base. For the Senators, one run, eight hits, no errors. They left 12 men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 38 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.